the Vandy Vape Pulse BF Squonk Mod from Tony B and Vandy Vape. Let's have a look. Hey guys, Vendik here, back with another review. Today we are looking at this, the Vandy Vape Pulse BF 2700 Mechanical Box Mod uh, from Vandy Vape, designed by Tony B off of YouTube. Um, a 2700 Mech Squonker. Uh, it has a few tricks up its sleeve as well. It has the ability to uh, prevent the firing. You can turn off the action on the button uh, which means you can put it in your pocket takes 2700 uh, batteries and uh, is a fully mechanical mod no MOSFET or anything like that it does have uh, a button that can handle uh, the amps that you will be throwing at it and we'll talk about that a bit more when we come back up top uh, comes with the sleeves you can use 18650s if you wish comes with an 8mm super soft bottle and um, very very affordable and very very natty box mod let's go down low have a look at it i'll show you all around it give you a good look at it then i'll come back up top and we'll get straight into the pros and cons see you in a sec okay guys here we are up close with the vandy vape pulse bf box mod from vandy vape uh, designed by tony b from youtube uh, so this is the packaging it's the box very cool very nifty very smart uh, all you get in the box is the mod, um, the uh, 18650 adapter sleeve, and uh, some spares. This is the mod though. This is the Pulse BF. Uh, very, very nice looking thing indeed. Um, Grey panels I have, but uh, actually a range of panels available for this. I've seen all kinds of colours. So we've got Vandy Vape on one side, the little Pulse logo on the other. Uh, we've got Tony B on the back. I hope you can see that. <laughs> and uh, then at top we've got the 510. So this is a spring-loaded 510. Uh, however, it's uh, well the way it works is it winds in as you wind in. So as you're screwing it in, it feels quite tight here. But if you just keep going, keep going, all the way to the bottom, it will accommodate your RDA no problem at all. It, it works by winding winding this down in here um, to make the connection. So, you know, it is fully adjustable 510. Uh, don't be confused when uh, you hit resistance, when there's uh, still room at the top. It will screw down, just keep going. Um, okay, so... While we have it open, I might as well show you inside. So what we've got is our 2700 battery here. How do you get that out, you ask? Well, if you uh, turn it around and pull this back door off, you can see that there is uh, the slot for the battery and simply pushing from the back takes the battery out. Uh, very much like the Signature Mods uh, SQ, if you've seen that. Um, I know Tony is a fan of that, so uh, borrowed from there, I guess. Um, very, very nice way of doing things, very neat, it avoids battery tearing and all that sort of thing. Definitely a good move there. You can see you've got minus and plus, so your positive goes down in this mod. So let's do that. There we go. Back door back on. Like so, and we are good to go. So we've got our true squonking style, we've got our button up here, we've got our uh, very, very squidgy uh, bottle here, 8 mil capacity, I believe. It's it's a bit wider than typical, wider than your typical squonking bottle, uh, but I do think that most squonking bottles should fit in here fine, but this is perfect size for this mod, obviously. Um, the next thing that this has is quite a nifty thing. So it has a way of preventing accidental firing of the mod. Uh, this little thing here, uh, you spin it around like that, and as you can see, there is now a gap here in the connection, and uh, this gap obviously stops it from firing. That can't fire now. When you push this down like that, obviously the metal is all touching now from here to here, so when you push the button like that, you are away, you are good to go, which is excellent, excellent thing. It means you can turn it off 
you can put this in your pocket as long as you remember to do that uh, twisty thing. Um, there's no MOSFET in here. They say that the button uh, is high, has a high amp rating. Uh, Mooch has done some battery. Mooch has done some tests on that, and he's quite happy with his findings. Uh, get along to Battery Mooch on Facebook if you want to read more about that. Um, the button is here, so let's pop this door back on. I will say the door is a very, very nice fit indeed. It's a whole the whole thing's plastic. I should have said that. Uh, it's, the whole thing is plastic, uh, but I've got to say, all the measurements are perfect. The doors have no play on them or anything like that, which is excellent. Uh, so this is the button. It's a big old thing, a big old button. It's a very squidgy button as well. Um, what it does do is it fires about there, but it pushes in way further. So it's a, it creates an unusual feel, but it's a nice big button, and uh, we'll talk about that a bit more up top. Uh, but there it is. There it is. That is the Pulse BF from Vandy Vape. Let's go up top and have a little bit more of a chat. Okay, guys, that was the Vandy Vape B Pulse BF squonking mod down low. A really nice bit of kit. The market has been waiting anxiously for an affordable mechanical squonker to hit the market. Vandy Vape have stepped up to the plate, assisted by Tony B with the design. Uh, it borrows some great features from all of the mech squonkers that all of the homemade uh, enthusiast mod making uh, squonking guys have been doing for the last year or so. It borrows some really nice features. It's got the removable back door of the uh, Signature Mods SQ, which allows you to push the bottle out, push the battery out. It makes it very easy to get those things out, which is excellent. The fit and finish is very good. The door is very good. It's got this uh, lockable feature as well. You can lock the button and stop it from firing in your pocket. A very nice touch indeed. There's not many mechs that can do that right now. I know that there's going to be some new parts added to 510s in the coming months that are, is going to make it more common but right now it's great that they've added that feature uh, big wide old uh, super soft squonk bottle very nice indeed no issues with actually pressing that or squonking with that or anything like that very nice indeed um, so overall very nice indeed let's let's get into the official positives and negatives i do have a few things that you need to consider if you're thinking about purchasing this mod first of all unlike a lot of a lot of squonkers out there it's not wood it's not resin it's not uh, alumide or anything like that it is literally plastic it's literally plastic um now it does give it a very sort of strange feel it gives it a very light very you know sort of cheap feel if you like um it, it, you know, it, it is a very, very affordable mod, and it does feel affordable when you're holding it in your hand compared to something like an Alumide, uh, you know, squonking mod or something like that, or like a metal signature tips SQ mod, something like that. It doesn't have that sturdiness. You know, if you dropped this, I haven't dropped it, but if you did drop it, I don't think it would survive a heavy fall, you know. Uh, you know. A lot of mods are like that, you know, it's not a major criticism. I just want you to be aware that it is a bit plastic fantastic. Um, I would love to see Vandy Vape do a high end, higher end version of this, a premium version of this. Double the price if you need to Vandy Vape, but let's see this exact mod with a really cool enclosure. I would love to see that. Resin, metal, wood whatever you want just some the next level you know I, I would definitely pay double for uh you know a better enclosure for this mod the other slight thing i'm going to nail at, at this as well is uh the button uh, it has a strange throw on the button uh it fires here which is just a slight press like that but in reality the actual button allows you to go really far in really soggy so it's quite a soggy button and it's got that strange feel it starts firing before you even finish pushing it and it creates a very strange sort of feel strange sort of vape uh, the final thing I'm going to mention about it as well is this um, this safety feature this lockable switch uh, it stops fire stops firing when you turn it um, it's held on by one screw and it is just a little bit of metal um, Obviously, you know, I can't test this for six months solid before reviewing it, but um, 
I'd be interesting to see how that holds up over time. Uh, for now, it's absolutely fine. If it breaks, you know, it's only just one screw. I'm sure it could be easily repaired, but I don't know. It That just feels a tiny bit flimsy. It's just one bit of metal hanging by one screw. Just feels a tiny bit flimsy on that. But uh, it's a very nice feature and it is working very, very well for me right now. So, you know, uh, it's fine. Beyond that, it's a pretty solid thing. Uh, it's hitting very well indeed. I have a very mod modest build in here, but I'm not detecting any voltage drop at all. Uh, it seems to be hitting bang on the money. 2700 batteries really come into their own when using them in mechanical mods. They really give you that security, that safety. If you're going below 0.2, you know, 0.15, 0.2, can, you can guarantee with these 2700 batteries that they're going to be able to handle that amp draw. And it's, a, it's, a, it's much more, you know, satisfying to know that your battery is going to stand up to that. Also, you get that tiny little bit of extra battery life as well, which I think is a nice touch. Uh, I, th I think 2700 mech squonkers are definitely going to be a thing. I think it definitely works. Just as we are seeing uh, 2700 mechanical tubes as well. I think I think the 2700 battery format really lends itself well to the mechanical world. So it's hitting very well. It's performing very well. The 510 is very good, very clever the way that tightens down. Uh, absolutely flush with all my RDAs. Uh, I really like the form factor, the shape, the design. I think they've absolutely nailed that. I love that it's got a big shiny button on here. Very easy to find, very easy to press. Uh, I like that it's not overly designed with crazy writing on it. It's very modest and, and, and smart looking. Uh, I think, you know, it's pretty much everything you would wish from uh, a budget squonker, a budget mech squonker, uh, just those tiny little quirks that I mentioned at the beginning. Very, very happy with it indeed uh, overall. I think it's a good job. I'd like to see a V2 with a slightly different throw on the button, um, <laughs> but that would be interesting. Don't forget it's in a, available in a range of colours and it's very, very affordable as well. Uh, so that is all good stuff. I'm impressed with it. I'm happy with it. I'm enjoying using it. I think it's really good, really solid. Good job, Tony. Good job, Vandy Vape. I like it. If you're on the fence, you know, depending on what you think of the slight negatives I've mentioned, uh, you know, have at it. Have at it if, you, if it's uh, your thing. If you've been waiting for a budget squonker, there's this one and there's the Geek Vapor Athena one, I believe, as well. So it's a bit of a toss up between those two. Maybe check out reviews for both before making your decision. Uh, but finally, we are getting some good budget squonkers hitting the market, and that's got to be a good thing. I've been Vapor Vic, and I'll see you again soon.